July 29, not for sale. Joshua chapter 24, verse 13. I, God, have given you a land for which you did not labor, and cities which you did not build, and you dwelling them, you eat of the vineyards and olive groves which you did not plant. During the Spanish-American War, Clara Barton, the founder of the Red Cross, was working in Cuba. One day, Colonel Theodore Roosevelt came to her and offered to buy food for some of his sick and wounded Rough Riders. But she refused to sell him what he wanted. Roosevelt could not understand. He cared about his men and he was willing to pay for the supplies out of his own funds. So he went to the surgeon in charge who said to him, Colonel, just ask for it. A smile broke over Roosevelt's face. Now he understood the provisions were not for sale. I will ask for it, he said, and when he did, he got the food at once. Joshua reminded the people that all they possessed, their land, their cities and their vineyards were not the result of their own efforts. Certainly, they had confronted the enemy. Obviously, they had engaged in many dangerous and bloody battles. But those victories were not the ultimate source of their possessions. Instead, all that they owned was a gift from God. God is not in the retail business. All of our good deeds, our generous gifts, our religious activities could not begin to buy our salvation. But God is willing to give it to us. When we receive Christ as our Savior, all that God has is ours for the asking. Enjoy God's gracious gifts today. Thank Him for providing them without price and without cost. They are yours not because you buy them, but because God gives them. God's gifts are free, but they are not cheap. Amen.